Yours is really thick, so yours is going to be probably a pretty big piece. Yep, there you go. There you go. Make sure it's like paper thin almost, but not to point where it's going to work. cast iron and you can just stretch it out to shoot it. I think um you can put it here and then you sauce it on the top of it. Okay, I just don't know if I should get flour on the bottom of the pan. What do you mean? Like I mean um sorry like when you stick it in the oven I don't know if the bottom of the pan is gonna burn. No I'll, I'll just wipe it. Okay. Yeah, crumble it up with my hands. Is this the um, skim one? It is. Oh, really? Oh, here's like super cheesy at the end of it. Yeah, and I like to add some more on top. Yeah. the most perfect personal pan pizza.
Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I have not sat down and talked to you guys in so long. Um, I'm gonna back up so it's a little bit more natural. But yeah, um, first things first, I wanna say thank you guys so, so much for 15,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I am doing a giveaway, so just hold on. Okay, so I'm doing a giveaway for the Victor and Rolf Good Fortune perfume. And I will leave the notes somewhere on the screen so you guys can check it out. But yeah, this is actually a gift set. So it comes with a, I think this size is 1.7 fluid ounces. And then this is like a little travel um, perfume like flanker. So to enter this video, just like the video, make sure that you subscribe. First off, like this video and comment up, comment down below your social so I know how to reach out to you. And for bonus entries, you can follow me on Instagram. And TikTok too, you know what? I'll give you a second entry if you follow me on TikTok. Um, but yeah, so I actually just got done filming a video. I did a, like another one of those chit chats get ready with me like we're on FaceTime videos and I put this robe on so that I looked a little bit more like in my get ready with me era but um yeah I want to show you guys some products that I actually got sent so I got some makeup from Giorgio Armani and the last time I tried this foundation was years ago and I just remember it not being that good but I retried it and I actually do like it i see a lot of people using this for bridal makeup i've been very into bridal stuff especially bridal makeup because i feel like it looks so like ethereal it looks like you're glowing from within and i see a lot of makeup artists using this makeup and it's actually really nice i just think this is probably best if you already have somewhat of nice skin um or just make sure that you spot conceal because this isn't the most full coverage but it does leave like a very beautiful um finish it's like a soft kind of matte finish and then i got some products from flower beauty her the brand is owned by drew barrymore i believe this is the first time i've ever tried her products so they sent this flower shimmer and strobe which I was actually gonna use in the video, but I forgot to. And I only took, I actually didn't try this. I might give this, um, I might give this away because I do have a highlighter that I like. And I'm trying to be more conscious of the makeup that I keep and the makeup that I use. I wanna make sure that the stuff that I have, I actually really use. So I think I might give this away. And then I also got these two kind of highlighter pens. I got the shade Gleam and Opal. I think I'm gonna keep one and then give another one away because I don't tend to use like liquid highlighters that much. I really don't use that many liquid products except sometimes I'll use liquid blush, but I'm such like a matte set it person that I don't really like to add wet products on top of dry products because I just think it breaks up the makeup and then i got some serums this is like a glittery serum low-key this smells it smells like very um it okay it smells like an old lipstick like you know how lipsticks used to not be scented that's what this smells like but I used both of these before I put on my foundation and I feel like my foundation went over it really nicely. So I probably will continue to use those. Um, yeah, thank you so much to Flower Beauty for sending those over. And then I got this like, this is supposed to be a fat burner. I got this from Skeepers, that Octoly site. And yeah, you're supposed to take two of these capsules on a empty stomach and it's supposed to help burn fat and increase increase lean muscle it supports gut health um nutrient absorption and appetite control and it's supposed to support healthy blood sugar and inflammatory response so i'm gonna try this let's see how this works out i think this is a 30-day supply it comes with 60 capsules you can stick two a day so i have that and then i also got another fragrance i have been really loving fragrances but I think I'm gonna stop buying 
a lot of fragrances. I don't buy too many, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the ones that I like and just invest in bigger bottles. You guys know I love Baccarat Rouge Rye 40. That I definitely think is my signature scent. I love it so, so much. So I think I want to buy the big bottle when I'm finished. And that means I just need to stop buying like smaller perfumes that like I like, but I don't love because I have a lot of fragrances and I don't know. I just feel like I need to be more mindful of what I'm buying. But I did get this fragrance from Ralph Lauren, a new perfume. It's called Romance. And I remember I had a Ralph Lauren fragrance years ago that I absolutely loved. Um, and I got so many compliments on it. I loved it so, so much. I do not remember the name of it. If I can find it, I will link it. But this is new. And this smells pretty good. Um, I will leave the notes on the screen. I will say it's more floral and I think it's more clean. This is definitely one of those scents where think of like you just took a full body shower, you washed your hair, you shaved, you shaved everything and then you got out and you put on lotion and you sprayed this on. Like that's what it, it's giving like very clean. Um, but it also has that floral fragrance, which I like because I'm not a huge fan of like laundry clean fragrances. Um, I don't mind clean, but there has to be a little bit of mm, for me for me to buy it. And I did like this. So I think this is going to be one of those fragrances. Like when I get back from the gym and I shower, I put on, I put on fragrance before I go to bed. So I think this is definitely like a daytime, like crisp, clean white shirt fragrance. So thank you so much to Ralph Lauren for sending this over. And I kind of like how the bottle has no writing on it i like this color too it's very pretty it's like a pomegranate it's like it looks like a pomegranate scene actually um very cute and then i also got some products from dior beauty but i think i'm going to show those in a get ready with me video but i picked up another dior lip glow oil in the shade rosewood i have it mixed in with the elf lip glow oil they're pretty much a dupe i will say I think the e.l.f. one has a little bit more color to it, like a little bit more pigments, so a little bit more pinky, but otherwise I think that they're pretty much a dupe. But I am in the middle of filming a few videos. So like I said, I just got done filming this um, get rid of me like we're on FaceTime video. And then I'm also in the process of filming like a Sunday reset video. So I'm not sure which video will be up first. But yeah, I'm doing that. So I'm just gonna like kind of go over my routine, like my weekend routine. So like doing my hair, nails, um, like cleaning and everything. So I'm gonna do that. I'm able to talk freely today because my boyfriend's actually at work. So I get like so weird when he's here because um, it like, it just feels very awkward to talk. And I think I'm gonna sit down and film a collective haul. I have like a little sticky note of stuff that I wanna do. So. I already filmed my what's in my gym bag. Um, I want to film a collective haul for like clothes and stuff that I got. I also want to film a review on the Gentle Monster sunglasses. And then I wanted to do reviews on specific fragrance brands. So like by Rado, um, MFK. So I wrote them down on this like little sticky note. So I think I'm going to film a few of those. Like I said, I already filmed one and yeah, that's really what's going on today. My week's been like, it's been okay. And actually my hair came out really nice today. It looks like nice and shiny. Um, yeah, the week's been okay. I was able to catch up with one of my friends, which I haven't seen in a while. And it's like kind of funny, but it's not really that funny. We live like very close to each other now, but I feel like I see her less. Um, so I want to make sure that I can hang out with her more, more often. But we went to like this Korean, I think it's Korean and French. It's like a pastry place. And I've been dying to go because it's very aesthetically pleasing. So the pastries were really good and they were very cute. I do want to go back because they have an upstairs, which I think is like the most known part about this bakery. Um, it looks like an art kind of showroom. So they have like the pastries on display. And then I think you go upstairs, you pick out the pastry you want, and then you go sit downstairs and they bring it out for you. But we had made reservations actually. So we just ended up sitting down. So we didn't go upstairs. So um, 
I definitely want to go back. But yeah, I feel like January went by. It went by so slow, but then again, it went by fast. My trip is coming up very, very soon. So I'm so excited. I need to buy like luggage, but it's been kind of hard not buying stuff because I'm kind of like on a slight no buy um but it's been a little bit hard but I have been sticking with it and I've been saving but I'm really really excited for my trip um I've been like kind of struggling with my diet a little bit and I've been having major body dysmorphia because my diet hasn't been the best and I've also been lifting heavier so I feel like my body was starting to look like bulky again and over the summer I feel like I was very lean and I just didn't really like how I was looking so I'm gonna be changing up my workout routine um, if you guys don't know I have like a whole series on workout like wellness content so I will link that here if you guys want to see more of that but yeah, I um, I don't know. I just feel like I don't really know what I want my body goals to be like. I feel like they change so often. So I feel like I need to sit down and really think about how I want my body to look because then that can kind of determine what workouts I do and what my diet should be. But yeah, um, I'm going to start cleaning up, start filming this sunday reset video and i will check in with you guys later okay so i just sat down to look over the footage of the video that i just filmed like the get ready me like we're on facetime i usually like to look over like my sit down videos right after and i don't like how it came out at the end when i finished it i feel like my makeup looked a little off um I don't know, I just felt like I didn't really look like myself. Um, Cause I think I was so busy talking that I just really didn't, I don't know, I feel like I didn't really do my makeup that well. So I think I'm gonna scrap that video. Um, <clears throat> I told myself that I didn't wanna upload videos where I completely, like I wasn't 100% happy with because at the end of the day, like I'm the one creating my content and I just, I don't know, I just don't like how I looked in it. I think I looked very odd. Um, I also, on this camera, there's like a feature where you can defocus the background. And I think I put it on for the last video that I filmed. But for some reason in this video, I think since it was on, it was making my whole face looked look very like smoothed out. Like it looked like I had like, the skin like softening filter on like an all-time high and i filmed videos like that before where i've had it on and it just looks like a pair of eyeballs and mouth moving it just looks like all smoothed out so it just looked very very fake and i felt like especially for a video like this where it's supposed to be just kind of raw and uncut i just think that it didn't really look right so um i'm gonna scrap that and I might refilm like get ready with me on Sunday maybe or actually you know what I might do it Monday because I have to do a get ready with me video for um a brand so I will probably sit down and do like this get ready with me like one face on video on another day but um yeah and with my makeup looking like this I don't really know if I want to sit like do a sit down video because I feel like my makeup doesn't look normal so it's not gonna look normal in the video so I think today I'm just gonna stick with my original plan and just do my Sunday um my Sunday reset video and then tomorrow I will do my makeup like normal and I think I'm gonna sit down and do like the collective haul the um gentle monster video and the fragrance videos because that way i can just sit down and do my makeup like normal and then i could just go straight to filming yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna go start cleaning up and i'm gonna mop
Hi guys, so it is Saturday and I am just editing my vlog. I think I'm gonna try to get this up today. But this morning I actually did my friend's lashes. Um, so I did her lashes because we're going to like Korea together and I said like, let me do your lashes. So that way like if you wanna keep them for Korea, then she can. So I think she ended up liking them. Um, it's so funny, like when people haven't had lashes in so long, it's always like a shock to them when they see it. So, and I didn't even fill her lashes up all the way. So I was like, let me stop. So I showed it to her and they were just too much. So I ended up taking some off. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm editing right now, but I feel so discombobulated. Like I took that um, supplement that I showed you guys earlier it's by Performix, and this is a thermogenic fat burner. And you're supposed to take two on an empty stomach. And the, like when I tell you, I feel like, I feel so odd. Um, as soon as I took it, I would say within like maybe 20 minutes, I started getting a really massive headache and it's kind of like, well, everyone knows what a fucking headache feels like, but I got a headache. So I took some leave and then it felt like I was like laser focused on what I was doing. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever like not eaten all day. And you know that feeling where it's like, you're kind of like, you can only focus on one thing. It's almost like tunnel vision. Um, so that's what I feel like right now. I. I don't know if this promotes like for you to focus on what you're doing, but I really do not like how this is making me feel. Um, you're supposed to take two empty, two capsules on an empty stomach and it says like, I think it says you can work your way up to it. So um, you could take like one capsule, but I don't know, just something about this is just making me feel very, very weird. And I don't like it. I think I'm gonna message the like brand and say, hey, like this is not something that I wanna promote because I don't like the way it's making me feel. Yeah, so I'm sitting down and editing this vlog and just editing it, it like makes me realize that I need to film in different parts of like the apartment but also like i don't really like doing that because i i don't know it's like a privacy thing almost but um i need to kind of switch up like the spaces on where i film because sometimes i feel like it gets a little bit repetitive but yeah that is how today's going my boyfriend and i were gonna go out like to oh shit we were gonna go out to enjoy the day but i just kind of feel like very off so um, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I think I'm just going to sit down and finish this vlog and edit my Sunday reset video so I can get that up tomorrow. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, definitely more vlogs to come. Let me know if you guys have any uh, video requests and make sure to enter the giveaway as well. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.